Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic mini Let's Play that has gone on for 44 episodes now. It's kind of crazy to think that is over 44 hours of playing a game that I thought I would only play for about 10 hours. If that's not an indication of how much fun I'm having with this city builder, then I do not know what is. Um, I see you guys joking about it all the time. In fact, many people uh, go back and comment on the first episode being all like, oh look, the title says mini Let's Play, checks the playlist, 43 episodes. It's like, yeah, yeah, this, 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 this playthrough blew up. I've been really enjoying it, and it seems like you guys have been as well, so that's great to see because uh, it's always nice to see fun indie games sort of prosper. If you guys are still enjoying the series, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It just helps me make decisions for the channel. Uh, after all, that's why we get two episodes of Workers and Resources a week. It was because of your voice being heard, of course, and uh, on the topic of your voice being heard, there are quite a few comments that I'm going to try and address today. And I think the big issue that we're going to try and tackle today is the uh, meat and food situation in this central part of town. Uh, I think that's a very important one. And then we're also going to deal with the uh, construction of these tracks over here. I uh, could have done a better job of laying out some of the construction lines. Uh, there were some suggestions about fixing up the way this construction line has been set up as well. So we're going to do a couple of things over here and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we're going to see some decent progress with the uh, processing plants as well. Looks like we're, I mean, looks like we're making some decent progress, actually. Uh, the thing is that I cannot, uh, well, so I was going to say I cannot up our steel production or, or our steel exports, rather, until I feel a bit more comfortable about our construction progress. We're, we're making good progress. I mean, a lot of these guys are moving through with their asphalt and whatnot. There's a... Uh, that's the thing, it's like 200 steel is a lot of steel. This still needs 137 tons of steel. There's a lot of steel still required for all this construction stuff, which is why I've been so hesitant about um, upping the mechanical components production as well. Because, I mean, we've got... You know what, I could probably increase it a little bit. Because we've got a lot of steel just sitting there, not being converted into mechanical components quickly enough. So maybe we'll find a better balancing act with just a handful of more workers. Yeah, so that... I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you guys heard the very loud honk outside, but <laughs> uh, they just kind of interrupted me there. And there it is again. Great. Thank you, kind sir, outside my building. Um, the, uh, the the thing about the mechanical components is like they're a big money maker. And I saw in the comments, some of you were like, you know, maybe we should get some more people coming through. So we'll, we'll get a couple more people coming through over here, uh, producing some more mechanical components and keeping our economy afloat. We actually ended the last session around the same number that we started it, so that's pretty good. Uh, you know, net nothing basically net neutral so let's try and uh and either keep that going or make a bit of a profit 2.17 is our starting number uh the month thus far has been profitable you know in all the two days it's gone on last month profitable this year overall profitable just barely just barely let's try and get it to uh triple digits at, or not triple digits but uh, uh six figures at uh, at the least let's hope for it so i'm gonna hit play and resume time let's make some progress with our construction and all that and uh hopefully Hopefully, things will uh, will go well. There's a lot of work to be done over here still. A lot of roads still need building. Um, and we do need to solve our distillery problem as well, which is going to be the second thing we do after I hit play. As I hit play, though, folks, I just want to mention really quickly, um, I don't do this very often, but, you know, I figure because of what you guys say in the discords and whatnot, I should, I should do this more often. It's the start of a new month, and at the start of a new month, I figure I should mention that if you have been really enjoying the content on this channel... If you've been watching along, you know, for hours and hours of entertainment, then maybe consider supporting the channel uh, through Patreon or by becoming a channel member. Uh, the Patreon link is in the description down below. It's also under the I at the top right corner of the screen. Uh, and to become a member, you have to just click the join button that's right below the video. Um, both of those act similar to, you know, if you're familiar with Twitch, like being a Twitch sub, uh, it's, it helps the channel out significantly. It's a bit of monthly support. Again, it's not an obligation at all, uh, but I figure I should mention it if you've been enjoying. Think of it like a streaming service or like a Twitch sub, right? Uh, becoming a channel member actually gives you access to like emotes and a special icon next to your name as well. Um, so when you leave a comment behind or anything like that, people know that you're a, you're a channel member. Uh, and plus there are some other perks as well that come with it uh, that you can find out on the Patreon page or by clicking the join button down below. So again, not an obligation, but I should mention it uh, because that stuff really does make a very big difference in, uh, in sort of the stability, the financial stability of this channel and this glorious Soviet Republic. So there's my little spiel there uh, if you choose to support in that way. Now, the first thing we're going to solve, the first thing we're going to solve is... 
supposedly there's a bus that has a giant question mark over its head because I did not fix it. So I gotta find- there we go. So thanks for pointing that out. Again, I, uh, I- oh. I don't know, you're going- you're trying to get to this unfinished road up in Train Rexky. Why can you not get there? Where is this unfinished road? There is no unfinished road here. That's why it's got the question mark. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for this. What- which road- what road is this? It zooms into here. I would imagine it's this. I wonder if I can just- nope. That's just to change the depot. I can't like send it back home. It's a little annoying. Yeah, I still got the question mark on its head. Um, I mean, I could just pay for what's left of it. 6,300 is not that much money to spend. Or I could let it be. Let, let's let it be for now. And if it continues to be, um, you know, with, with a question mark above its head, I'll, I'll rush this out. Hopefully it'll get constructed. We've got a bunch of construction offices assigned, so hopefully something else will finish the construction. We don't have to worry about it all that much, because, um... Yeah. I'd like to not waste the money. Okay, so that's that, but I, I believe there might be... No, I think that's the only one with a question mark above its head. Some of you guys pointed that out in the comments, and we all thought, me as included once you mentioned it, was that it was a uh, it was a, a bus that was supposed to come here. Now, actually, there is another issue, which is one of these trains is picking up passengers as well as workers. So that means we're sending passengers up north pointlessly. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And get rid of that. Good call on that. Thank you for your eagle eyes assisting us. Tovarish. It really does make a very big difference. <laughs> um, so over here, now, this is another issue that was pointed out, that I don't have return tracks built and whatnot, and I could uh, do that, and it might not be a terrible idea to do that. No workers here right now, which is why this is sort of stuck here. Um, what I'm thinking is I could build a temporary return track. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a bummer that it can't just... I mean, it's obvious that it can't, and why it can't. It just <laughs> can get a little annoying sometimes. Let's go ahead and cancel some of this unfinished railroad. That's number 10, and this is number 8. Which one of these are you on right now? Oh, there we go, 13. Go ahead and cancel that. Use a little bit of uh, video game magic there to help us out and, and disappear some of these uh, trains. Uh, now hopefully that was not too boring at night time. I try to avoid having too much happen at night. Lots of passengers waiting over here. I wonder if we just don't have enough, um... Yeah, no, it's definitely not you. I'm trying to figure out how we can get more of these passengers moving. So what many of you have pointed out is that the reason why we have all these folks who are unable to enjoy culture or participate in sports, etc., etc., or visit a tavern, is because the first thing people do is they go to the local store to pick up their necessities, their bare necessities, so food, meat, things like that. And if they don't get that, then they ultimately, uh, you know, run out of their free time, because that's their first priority. So I do really need to figure out a solution to this situation. Now, what's up with the meat over here? Why are we not getting meat? Um, no passengers down over here, but hopefully you're bringing some passengers. Three workers, are you kidding me right now? What's going on over here? What's going on over here? I need to, I need to figure that out. That's important, because our, our meat's have stopped being imported for a while now. Uh, now, many of you were suggesting maybe we can fit a warehouse back here. Because if I can fit a warehouse or a, like, a truck depot, something like that, then we might just be able to drop stuff off and, uh, and, and have the shopping center pick it up from that warehouse rather than pick it up from, like, direct truck deliveries, basically. So let's see if we can do that. I have my doubts. I don't think it's a big enough space. But... I mean, this will definitely not, we're definitely not fitting a warehouse back there. Um, meat storage. I mean, do wonder how much I can fit here. Because the thing is, we also have to get the road connection. And I, I could cut off some of these sidewalk connections. I don't need, like, all three connected across the board all the time. So I can make space back here, but I don't think, I don't, I mean, I'm definitely not able to fit a warehouse back here. Also, just doesn't look nice. Imagine having, imagine living next to a warehouse, right? Um, what about, uh, what about, what about, what about, 
What am I thinking about? Equipment for citizens. I don't think we can fit. I mean, if I make the small store into a shopping center, that's way too big. Small shopping center. Why would I do that? I would do that because it has... What? It is a small shopping center, so nothing. It has nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do the warehouse wrap. The other option was, some of you were suggesting, a truck... Um, road cargo station. Now that can store... See, that can't really store... Anything. It's a, it's a, it's a transit thing. It's like to, to transfer things from one place to another. We don't really have a solution there. Jeez, I don't know if I want to put a giant warehouse back there. Or even like a silo or anything. It's just a matter of timing the deliveries. I think that's just it. It's a matter of timing these deliveries. God, things disappear so quickly. I, I need to figure out this meat thing. We, we need to do something about these, like, like these bare necessities. Again, I could always import a base number, and that way we're going to be, you know consistently fine with a minimum amount of certain goods, uh, but I don't want to rely on that, right? I want to be self-sufficient. Good progress over here. This is being built. So this track is going to go all the way down here. Uh, buddy here is... I mean, if I make this a two-way... I wonder if this will work. If I make this into a two-way, just for now, right? Uh, will he eventually be able to go up that way? Let's make this into a two-way as well. Because he should be able to go up this way and build this track as well. Now, obviously, he's currently busy building this one. Number 13 still? Jesus, come on, dude. Come on. Number 13 is, I'm guessing, the top one. No, it's the bottom one. Okay, let's get rid of that. Progress we made. See, this one's able to get back. Because he's got a clear path back there. I mean, I'm probably better off... You know what I'm probably better off doing? Is I'm probably better off building another wood base railroad, railway, whatever, and connecting it down over here or something. And that'll be the connection onto this. And that way there is a return path. Um, let's see. Don't think I'll be able to build a crossing over here. Could do something like that. Do something like that. I mean, I could at this point go all the way back over here. That just seems wasteful. Okay, come on now. Lock the train. Are you kidding? Come on. Sure. No. Cancel a little bit. Should be able to make this connection. There. Go ahead and start that. So now we have access to this section as well from a different direction. Are you seriously already on your way back? Dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Alright, um, but yeah, this this should help, hopefully. I could buy another mechanism as well. Um, that's not what I meant. Using rubles, let's go ahead and get you down. Yep. Hopefully, we're able to go out. Hopefully, I don't need a second track. Because once I start getting into the world of building, like, semaphores and stuff over here, it's going to get annoying. Well, let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. Buddy here is stuck. There we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know this is a bit of a painful process. I'm trying to trying to make it as smooth as possible. What's the deal over here? Lots of workers waiting. You're on your way back now. You're on your way back soon. Where are the other trains? This one over here is on its way back. Do we get any passengers down over here? Jeez, man, this is not uh, this is not ideal. See, what's your problem? Why can you not... Why 
is you start here, you get a bunch of people in. I need to follow this train a little bit. Because you should it should be picking up people from here and from here. So how how is it possibly arriving empty? You know? That's kind of crazy. So we, we need to keep our eye on this one for a little bit. These trains seem to be doing okay. It seems like we're getting enough traffic up over here. Passengers coming through at a decent rate. Doesn't seem like we've broken everything, you know? Because that was a big concern. Doesn't seem to be the case. Over here, progress being made? Yes, good progress being made. Good stuff. And what about back over here? Seems as though progress is... Maybe a little stuck here. No construction offices. I think we go ahead and increase the radius a little bit, maybe. Across the board. You're good, you're good. You are... You know, we've got things assigned. We'll keep an eye on this. And this bus is, in fact, still stuck here. Bit of a bummer. Is anybody building this? Yeah, it looks like we are still getting construction done over here. Slowly but surely. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now where is this train? It's on its way back. Alright, let's keep an eye on this thing. Because this is this is starting to cause me some issues. If we're not bringing meat, then what's the point of figuring out our, uh, our meat situation, right? So let's go ahead and see why we're not bringing in meat. This construction on these tracks are going on, going on okay as well, it seems. That's good. Really hoping that section gets built. Yeah, it's been assigned. Just pay for it, it's not very expensive. Not very expensive and it would probably save me a lot of time. Let's go ahead and pay for it. Okay, we're waiting for this train, I assume. It's making its way. We're still building over there, it looks like. Yep, we're gonna push through. Alright, let's figure out what this guy's problem is, right? Come on now, pick up your speed. It's pretty cool to see how, like, tight, tightly packed the trains can get sometimes. Oh, this is a problem. That's funny. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> uh, which one was that building, do you think? Go ahead and do that. A little bit of guesswork goes a long way. Alright, let's see. So you're gonna come through. There are 46, 48 workers over here. Not a lot, but you know, it's something. 52. Alright, cool. You're gonna pick them all up. You turn around. You're gonna leave. The workers are arriving over here. Lots of passengers waiting over here. Maybe I should figure something out about that. Lots of workers going to the bus stop as well. I should maybe stop that. Because that's reducing our count on this train. But, okay. I'll look at that later. So now the train's gonna go up this way. Lots of workers waiting over here. Right, so if we get there first, we should top up nicely. Going, we're going, we're going. It does feel like fewer workers are coming here, doesn't it? Some of you were suggesting that, and I was like, ah, I don't know about that, but it's starting to feel like it. All right, there we go, so now you're gonna top up over here. Cool, we got 129 workers, 130 workers, great. Now you're gonna get going. Now only 39% should be dropped off at the Vecherinkograd train platform. Hopefully that'll go well. You're here, building away. You're coming through, building away. Things seem to be going okay, fair enough. You're on your way back, these trains are moving fine, workers are arriving back at the station. Meanwhile, that far away station is probably kind of just sitting there, not doing much. Collecting workers. Not ideal. Okay, you're gonna come through here. You are going to drop off a bunch of workers. Wow, really? So it's working as intended, it's just not picking up that many workers. Now what's the deal over here with this bus stop? A lot of workers waiting at that bus stop. Now I've told you, everyone from here is going to this bus stop, and now where do these buses go? Okay, to Rostinsky, I see. I see. I'm still supplying people to Rostinsky from this bus stop. I wonder if too many people are going to the bus stop, actually. Let's go ahead and swap that out. Get more people onto this train platform. 
because I think that'll make a world of difference. If, if we get more people on this, if we get more workers waiting here when that train arrives, then by the time it gets up to here, 29% or 39%, however many it's going to leave behind, isn't, you know, just going to leave six people left over. Because, yeah, this is not good. Because that train arrives and, what, six people? Most of them go into, into the um, fire station? That doesn't work for me. The other thing we're going to do, obviously, is once uh, this is all up and running, we'll have more workers coming up to here. So, let's um, let's deal with this distillery thing, because I know I said I was going to do that earlier, and it's already been a very long time since I've touched it. So let's go ahead and sort this out, shall we? How do we go about doing this? Now, there was a suggestion that we try connecting to the train platform. I don't think that'll work, if I'm honest. The train platform... Like, it's 270 meters to here. Okay, you know what? It might work. It might work. Bridges here, I don't think will do the trick. Some of you were suggesting more bridges. That might solve the problem. But even if we build a bridge over here, it's got to actually, you know, come down at one point. And we're also, yes, going to adjust this bus stop. I no longer like how it looks. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So we'll be adjusting that as well. And in fact, we could start with adjusting that bus stop and see if that slight adjustment makes enough of a difference. The problem is people are currently going around and down. If I put this bus stop, say, over here... Hmm... The fact that, yeah, people are going around and down. Now, let's see. Which... How far can you go? 271 meters is that other bus stop. I'm able to move this bus stop somewhere... Let's see. Just trying to... Just trying to figure this out. 271 meters is okay. A lot of buses that come here, and it's a lot of... Like, this is a crucial bus stop right now. It it being a smaller... Like, this is a bus platform. Me converting it to a bus stop will hopefully not cause too much trouble. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try the easy solution first. Quote-unquote easy solution. If I were to build a footpath over here, right? Which I, I don't think would work. If I'm completely honest. Um... Well, the way we do it is we'd probably... You're fine, you've got the connection there. We'd have, like, this coming down from here to here. And then from there... To... There. Oh. Oh. Shit. Come on, baby. You know you want to work. <laughs> Come on. This is these... Power connections, actually. Kind of a joke. Okay. Cancel that. Be like that. So I wonder... I wonder if that does the trick. Because that would solve us some trouble. Right, I could pay for this, right? I don't have to, um... Holy crap, 2,000 rubles? Are you kidding me? It's fine. It's not that much. We started at 2.17, right? I will pay for it, and hopefully this works. No, it does not. It most certainly does not. And I'm not surprised either. I had a feeling it wouldn't. Hmm. Okay. That's unfortunate. It would have made my life a lot easier. Would have made my life a lot easier. All right. Well, I'm not going to have an ugly footpath like that just sitting there. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Building on fire. I'll check on that in a second. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Um, we should be able to put this out. I believe there's a fire station nearby. Yeah, we got, we got fire trucks coming over. Cool. We'll be fine there. Now, these buildings have topped up, haven't they? Yeah, they filled up. Wow. Good stuff. I was worried because they were taking some time to fill up, but now they've filled up. Lots more people coming over here as well. Hopefully that'll solve some of the issues we're facing. Okay, you are working on what track? Railroad 8, I assume. Eight. Let me get rid of you. You're coming through. You're coming through over here. Fire extinguished. Good stuff. Yep. Progress being made. Good, good, good. Almost done. Almost ready to get Rustinsky up and running with, like, a proper train connection over here. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie, about, um, 
the sustainability of it. Oh, and I should also mention, uh, as some of you have pointed out, yes, importing the iron ore this close to the border should be relatively cheap. Um, I don't know if it considers the distance from the closest customs house or just from the edge. I can't remember that. But we're pretty close to this customs house by virtue of being at the edge, so it shouldn't be all that expensive to import uh, the, uh, the ore if need be. Now where... why do we not... okay, you know what I should probably do? Probably build... oh no, I guess I can't... Even if I rush all that out, we do have the aggregate storage done. Oh, we, you know what, we have all this done, so I should perhaps finally build some of this stuff out. Now yes, this will be expensive, but there isn't much I can do about that. Like, this road connection is basically impossible to make. Same thing over here. So... Worth it, I think, though. On that... Oh, I didn't... I shouldn't be looking at these numbers. These numbers are horrifying. There goes all the money we've made. Let's go ahead and build you. Okay. So that should get iron coming through here. Yeah, excellent. And it almost immediately will get dragged down over here. So we should never have to import iron again. Hopefully. That doesn't quite look like we've been importing it for a while anyway. But if it starts to back up, then uh, we can export iron as well, right? So that's not a problem. I'm not too fussed about that. Seems to be working okay. Looks like the road here has been completed, so that's good. It's good. Um, gonna wait a while before we complete this section of road, of course. Okay, on the topic of which, let's go ahead and check on this section of road again. Almost done. <laughs> Almost. This is getting some progress as well, so that's good. Resource is not really arriving. I think it's because this is taking people away. Let's go ahead and just cap this off with a quick construction. A couple hundred rubles, right? It's not the end of the world. Then there's all this to take care of as well, so... Done. You can barely tell there was any progress there. Alright, good stuff. Hopefully this stuff will get done soon. Now, alright. See if the bus stop moves. See, I don't think a small move is going to make enough of a difference. Road connection. Jeez. And on the one hand, I'm happy with what I've done. On the other hand, this is <laughs> annoying. Again, the easy solution is to get a bus stop down over here. Right? Drop people off over there less traffic to the bus stop up over here. And maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe that's the smartest solution. Jeez, I wish these guys were on the backs of some heavy vehicles right now. But yeah, I think we need to get rid of this bus platform and rejig it a little bit. Maybe push it over here so people get dropped off over here or something. Let's go ahead and pause for a sec uh, because I do want to keep a track of a lot of vehicles. This is going to be painful. Or, I think there's some overlap, actually. No, there is not. Wow. You kidding me? Okay, there is, there is. Thank god. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, and six. Why are you not popping up? Now I'm getting concerned that I don't have all the buildings. Because I want to make sure that we, we can't have traffic here slow down. That would be a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and get you... ...all laid out over here. I wish there was an easier way to do this. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Um, and let's make sure... There we go. So some of these are not overlaps. Yikes, this is going to take forever. <laughs> okay, another PZ672. Okay, so these two look like they are overlaps. Alright, and then this distribution. Hmm, that's going to be interesting to try and maintain. Well, the distillery is going to be gone, so there's that. Uh, quick, take a quick little snapshot of that and use that as a reference, because otherwise things can get painful. Okay, let's do it. It's going to be a bit of an undertaking, but I think it'll be worth it. Just to clean this area up a little bit. Demolish you. Get rid of the roads over here, of course. 
vehicles are currently using it. You're gone. But I think if I give it a little bit of time... A couple question marks. This poor guy didn't make it across. You're gonna loop back. I think he's gonna loop back as well. We have to... Again, we're wasting precious time right now, but... Really nothing I can do about it. I'm glad I got this connection destroyed at least. Okay, now you're gonna loop back, right? Okay. Go, 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 go. Hurry it up. <laughs> Slow little vehicle. Adorable little thing. Okay, you're backing up, you're backing up. You guys are looping back there, so you hopefully aren't using this section anymore. Come on. Let me cancel it, goddammit. Sometimes this game... Come on. None of these vehicles are coming here. All these vehicles are looping back. That one's coming here, that's why. That's why, because you're trying to get down there, aren't you? Why you gotta be like this? Go. Get lost. Now this buddy's coming back as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Bane of my existence, these kinds of infrastructure upgrades. But they're worth it. They're worth it. We're gonna clean up how this section looks. This construction is really slowing some of these vehicles down. Alright. No. Come on, man. Come on, don't be like this. What else is coming here? Is it just that one vehicle? You round... What else is coming here? You? What else is coming here? Going to the coal mine. All those bosses are obviously confused as hell right now. Nothing else seems to be coming here right now. So we should be good to demolish it. This thing, I swear to god. What are you even here to build? Unfinished Road 4. There. Now you don't have to be here anymore. Great. That's what it was. That's all it took. Alright, fair enough. So, we're done there. Go ahead and get the bu- Okay, so. It's a bit of an interesting situation, cause this connection needs to be made, right? We can't just sacrifice that connection. If I cancel this road section over here, and we get the, um, bus stop. Oh, you are? Yeah. Over here-ish. I build you to infrastructure. This is gonna be painful. This might actually not work out. This might not work out. Let's go ahead and flatten the train a little bit. Flatten you a little bit more. There we go, flatten you a bit more. We have to, yeah, we have to back it up a little bit, eh? Wonder how close we can get it. I guess that's about as close as we can get it. Okay. If we get you up to there... Right? All this to make this section look a little bit prettier. Kill me. <laughs> If I do put it closer to here... I can't. I can't get all that close. That's about as close as I can get. I could do something like... That, I suppose? Try this. I'll do something like that. And I get, uh... Railway crossing is too close. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. We can just rejig this entire section. I'm not I'm not bothered by that. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Alright. 
We're good. We're cool. We're cool. Okay, uh, let's, um... Huh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's get this road over here. You know, maybe this will actually help out overall with the other issues that we're having. Get you over there. We get you... So from here, we can go over there. Okay, but from here... God damn. Killing me, game. But here, we can't go over there. And here, we can go over... I saw... Oh, it flashes... Flickers green over there. Okay. Okay. Not the neatest thing I've seen, but I'll make this work. Apparently I can't. Apparently if I delete too much, it causes trouble. Railway crossing is too close. Come on, game. Just let me build there. Oh. Alright, okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. This is where the game really starts to cause me heartache. We were fine. We had a spot here. We had a spot here. Don't want to go all the way up there, obviously. Could put a bridge down, but then we got to get back down to connect to this, right? So... Where were we? Somewhere like here. God. <laughs> God damn. Crossing is too close, too steep. Let's see. There we go. Sure, I'll take it. I will take it. And then you, we can connect like so. I mean, hopefully we're cutting a corner there. That might make enough of a difference, you know? Sometimes, sometimes that's enough. So, okay. We can continue onwards just a little bit. You can connect over here, fair enough. And the bus stop... Would be like over here. Would be like over here. Obviously that's not good enough. Yeah, this bus stop has gotten so far away. Okay, let's go ahead and try and flatten this a little bit. And see if that helps us at all. Way too close to that other building. Like we have to be up there, basically. Let's try this. Can't believe I'm doing this again. Song and dance. Okay. I think it was a matter of flattening over there. The game was just lying to us. If we go to, like, say, here. Just for experiments purposes. Let's say over here. Can we... Connect. No. This is... Too close. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this down first, because then it's just easier to plan the rest of it out. Do something like that. Make sure there's this road connection, some other infrastructures in the way, but you just told me I could connect. You just told me, game, that I could connect. There we go. That's all I want. Alright? And we get you connecting like so. Okay, and then we get you be able to do a couple things. Do that, and you do that. Okay, great. Yes, I love it. Wonderful. God, I hope this works. <laughs> God, I hope this works. Okay, 
So we're going to pay for all this. We're going to pay for the bus uh, bus platform as well. We're going to pay for all these road connections. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It's 14k. It's not that much. We have so much money, right? It's time to spend some of it. It's time to spend some of it. So this is connected. This is connected. We can cancel this road section over here. Get a bit of a funnier shape, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. This will all be connected. Cool. Fund it. All right, let's make sure you get funded as well. So cheap to make. Love it. Are you guys seriously going to make me do this? There we go. There we go. As long as we stay above 2 million, I'm not too upset. And we're doing a fine job of that. All right, cool. Connection made. Done. Okay. This, again, we'll get rid of that. Now. You. Let's go ahead and assign the buildings first. Now, can we? Can we? <gasps> we can. Boom. Problem solved. I love it. Okay, great. Love it. So, uh, sun is setting. This is actually a good time to do this managerial stuff, because at least the UI stays bright. We need people at the uh, slaughterhouse, food factory, distillery, clothing factory, and we're also sending people to the train platform down over here, but we might actually stop that and send people to the fabric factory instead. Okay. So the slaughterhouse is only getting 4% of people. The food factory was getting 26. The distillery was getting 26 as well. Let's see if we can get there. The clothing factory was getting 22. And the platform was getting 20. I mean, this is... Close enough. You know what? That's that's close enough. Cool. All right. Great. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad this is kind of solved. All right. Now, you. The easy thing here should be that we should just be able to add them to the end for all of them. Add you over here. Picking up workers. Over here. Over here. Over here. Get you over here. And yeah, okay, good. This is this is this is good. This is good. Get you over here. Get you over here and get you over here. Nice. So now hopefully we'll have all this working out. I guess, yeah, that, that little diagonal cut made all the difference in the world. So that's great. That's great. And you know what? I feel like, oh, the other thing is these roads, they were, um, they were built without sidewalks. These roads were non-sidewalk roads. So I guess people couldn't actually see that as a connection. God damn. I think that might be it, because who knows, it could also be... It, it is a pretty big difference, that is a big enough difference maybe. I don't know, I don't know. All that matters is it looks like it's working out. So now workers are going to start flowing through here again, the distillery is going to get workers as well. Beautiful, solved one problem. Um, construction over here is progressing, I think. No, that's just because I auto-built a lot of this. Construction over here is progressing. Good. Good, good, good. And what's the deal over here? 300 workers are waiting for trains. Alright, that's not good. What is giving you guys the right to get stuck here? Let's see. You are working on, I'm guessing, Railroad 6. Scroll back, come on. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of you. I'm guessing that's not going to solve our problem. Get traffic jam over here. you back. You're coming down this way. You're stuck over here. Loop you back around. See if that frees us up over here. You get kind of far. I don't know if it'll be far enough, obviously. Yeah, it is far enough. Okay, great. That's a little unfortunate. But it is what it is. I need to figure a solution out to that situation because that is obviously not ideal 
Now you've got, what, no workers on you. You're gonna pick people up, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Bit of a slowdown. Thank God we were paused for all that, uh, messing about over here. Well, not for all of it, for a lot of it. A lot of empty buses about to arrive. Loop some of you back around, please. I'll let you guys arrive and then go. You can turn around. Hoping to cause a little bit of a spread in, uh, in bus arrivals and stuff back at the, the stations back at home. All right, so that's that taken care of. You over here. Hey, finally, we have enough people working at the accounting office. So this should give us a better idea of some of our details on a region basis. So I just wonder how this stuff compares. Like, are these numbers more accurate? Or are these numbers accurate and these are more based on the area around, right? Jesus, unemployment is high. At least it's on its way down. I'm guessing unemployment was high because of those trains that weren't getting people anywhere. I really need to solve something about that. Look at that, adult children. That is way too many adult children. Oh, crap. Production and consumption. Very cool, very cool. Imports. Hmm. Okay, okay. Lots of little details over here. And resources. The actual resources we have in this uh, part of the world. I wonder how much of a radius it covers, actually. It's not everything. Now, that's a lot of people. Oh, hey. Our population count. Oh. Adult children was 1337 for like a split second there. Anyway, um... We need to do something about that. We need to get some more housing set up over here or something. We were planning on doing a little ring, right? So we'd, we'd pull the tracks around, but we could probably get some more houses behind the station over here. We need people living somewhere. Uh, but what's the deal here right now? You are moving through. Lots of workers coming through. Steel being produced at a decent rate over here. We're doing a decent job of it as well. Up over here. Still need a ton of steel. Soon is the thing. At least iron is coming through properly now. No workers over there. Oh, it's because... What? Holy crap, these traffic jams. These traffic jams are wild. Yeah, let's see. How many workers are waiting here? Not that many. So that's the thing. It's the downside of this split. I need this, uh... I need this, uh, Rostinsky connection to be done ASAP. Looks like we're making progress over here. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. Dragging workers back, yeah. Uh, maybe we should up how much we're exporting again. I'm surprised we've been able to stay afloat, if I'm completely honest. Guess we're out of steel now. Maybe I should slow this down a little bit. Yeah, I should slow down a little bit, because we are, um, there's still a lot of construction to be done. Okay, good. The road here is being built, so that's good. Alright, so that's all taken care of. Uh, distillery is getting workers, producing alcohol, good stuff. The alcohol is what's being done to the alcohol. Right now it's being picked up by you. Why are you picking up alcohol? Because you're going to export it. Okay, fair enough. So you're fine to pick up alcohol. Other vehicles are going to come through and pick up booze over here and food and clothes you're over here right now doing what unloading 100 percent you're waiting until fully unloaded well you're not carrying any alcohol so what are you waiting for waiting for the clothes to unload this warehouse load 100 percent over here, unload. Oh, I guess we were topped up on clothes over there. But why is this shopping center... Okay, so this shopping center is topped up on clothes, but <laughs> nothing else, obviously. Lots of clothes. I need to do something. Alright, food and meat. Food and meat. I wish I could check who was bringing food back specifically. So our food factory is this one over here. Crops get imported. Not enough workers, but workers are coming through now, now that the bus situation has been solved, right? So workers are coming through. 
food gets prepared, you are a truck. You are going to the shopping center. Which one? This... No. Which shopping center? This shopping center. Okay, great. You bring with you four tons of food maximum. I could wait until fully loaded, right? Okay, I'm doing that. Four tons of food gets brought back over here. Or I could not wait, because this is extremely slow, and people are starving in the meanwhile. Is that- that can't be all the... food being brought through. Food, I guess, is also being brought through from the cargo train station itself. Let's see... Yeah, you are loading alcohol and food. Slowly but surely. I mean, I, I guess things should not be going to these factories, they should be going to the warehouse instead. Go ahead and add that as a stop. Load 100% of food. Wait until loaded. Get you going that way. Get rid of the food factory as a, as a point. I want to see if that works a little bit faster, a little bit more smoothly. You are going to drop 6.5 tons off over here. Wait until unloaded, right? Yep. See, this one's been doing okay. This one's been pretty topped up. Now, granted, meat we haven't been producing for a while, which is the problem over here, but I think it's been okay for food over here, at least. But we really need to solve this meat problem. Well, I say that, but we also need to solve the food problem over here. Uh, how many vehicles actually come over here? You bring meat. You eventually bring food and clothes. Okay. You bring meat. You bring meat as well. And you bring food. Now let's see, are you actually loading up right now? You're trying to. Why can't you? You can't load up because there's a train over here that is also loading up. This train is dropping stuff off. Lots of crops, but we're all topped up on crops, fair enough. What I need to do, another thing I need to do, is get crops transported from there to here, right? Because right now we're importing. So let's go ahead and buy a couple of vehicles for that purpose. Um, rubles, obviously, it's going to be a covered hull. And let's just, you know, let's just take a big... Went big. 10 tons is not bad. 12 tons isn't bad either. Uh, for 12k. 12 tons for 12k, sure. Feeling like the right call right now. Sure. 12 tons, 12k. I also like its color scheme. Just the one truck for now. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna load up on drops. And I'm gonna drop them over here. Again, the bottleneck, of course, is going to be chemicals. It's always going to be chemicals. We got workers. Well, we're actually producing fabric right now. Is it? It's being deposited over here, and hopefully, you're picking up the fabric. I should, goddamn, hope so. Ooh. Is it really going to top this warehouse up first? That doesn't entirely work for me. That does not entirely work for me. I was hoping... Well, let's see. We've got chemicals coming through. Well, I was hoping for it to pull chemicals. And I guess the fabric doesn't need to come down to this warehouse. Right, so... Do that. I'm not going to discard the resource. Well, okay, let's go ahead and make that zero. That's a bit of a bummer. Didn't, uh, didn't think that through. Or I could, well, hold on, I can make this connection, can I? Why haven't I made this connection? Yeah, what the hell? Party, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, party? Make that connection. 
I'm like, did past party have something in mind? Go ahead and build that. So now, you should be able to get, uh... Fabric from here, no? Looks like it. Well, actually, I can't tell, because it's probably pulling from up over here. It's pulling so slowly, it's impossible to tell, really. This is still at 19.81. Okay. Well, what I can tell is that it seems that the clothing factory has been prioritized for fabric, so yay. I'm happy with that. We'll see how this progresses. We'll see how this progresses. Because my hope, again, was that the fabric could get pulled through. Because if the fabric- if the fabric cannot get pulled through... ...then we are in trouble. Then we are in trouble, because that would mean that the chemicals also cannot get pulled through. And if the chemicals can't p get pulled through, then I have to get more vehicles transporting the goods. Now let's go ahead and stop the purchase of crops over here. Or keep it at a minimal. Because, uh, hopefully now we're going to be transporting crops in a little bit faster. Again, chemicals seems to have stabilized for some reason. I don't get it, but I'm not going to question it. Got a lot of crops over here, that's good. Over here, alcohol is, yep, being produced. You are still loading up on food, eh? You, you, you do that. You do that. You're going to wait as well. This, I mean, this cargo train station is a major loading dock, basically. You're on your way out. Now you're going to start loading up, right? Right? There we go. Now this one's loading up a lot faster. Feels like. Well, once it tops up, it slows down. It slows right down. Okay, fair enough. I wish they could load from multiple directions at a time. I wish they could load from multiple directions at a time. Alright, what's the deal here? New type of locomotive. 17.34... Are you importing fabric? Something down here is picking up the clothes right now. We just have to keep an eye on this, I think, to see exactly how this, how the fabric is flowing. We have the limit over here, so at least it's not going to just, if I forget or if it slips my mind, it's not going to just swallow all the fabric. Um, but we do have to consider the situation. The chemical plant over here has no workers. Well, that's because we're not bringing people to this bus stop yet. That's because this hasn't been completed yet, so this is hopefully being built. Yep, there is some focus on this right now. Lots of construction offices are on it. It just takes time for those vehicles to get here. Not much I can do about that. And then down over here, how are we looking? 47 people coming through this way. 50 people waiting there. A lot of people, passengers being picked up and stuff as well. Passengers and students, okay, good stuff. Up over here, we're like almost done. Track 8. Which one of you is track 8? You. A little bit of dancing left, that's all. Just a little bit of dancing left. We're almost done. You're gonna go straight down over here, right? Yep. And once this is done, we're gonna just have to get the trams. And Rostinsky, I think, is almost ready to go up and running. I mean, these are almost done. We'll have a couple of these, uh... Conveyors to build, but... Like, this thing's almost done. Maybe I should get the tram- well, we can't- um... I mean, technically, I guess we have enough track to get- no, we don't. <laughs> we don't have a connection here. We almost have enough track to get people going. Almost. Alright. Let's see. This is great. It's great to see Boo still, like, back to- back in action. Right. You are... Alright, you're just bringing crops back and forth. Ooh, now hopefully... Okay, hopefully here we are going to get... Let's see. Food dropped off. Meat... Somehow it's topped up over here. Good for you. Oh, we just have this one truck that's just full of meat. It's been going back and forth for like months on end. <laughs> Ugh, nasty. Alright, so. Bunch of trucks over here. What are you dropping off? You're trying to drop off clothes. But people aren't buying clothes quickly enough. So leave. Same over here. Trying to drop off clothes. Get out of here. 
You, you're bringing meat. You have no meat. You are also bringing meat. I'll pull you back to the slaughterhouse. You are finally bringing food. So yeah, let's see how this all works, right? Meat's gonna be a problem for the next little bit, but hopefully, hopefully the livestock farms are starting to see some workers arrive. No, still nothing, eh? Still nothing. I need to figure that out. I need to figure that out. Hell is that train actually? Well, there it is. Why did nobody get out? No, go go back there. I want to see people get out. Get out. Go. Go. Can you not? It's a two-way. You should be able to. There we go. So this is a different problem entirely. These people are just not getting out. Come on. Leave. Leave. <laughs> That's weird. I'm not sure what's going on. I need to figure this out. Well, no, okay, what the hell? Didn't I just check and there were no workers here? Okay, so I guess people did get out. And they were just on their way over and I happened to check when there were no workers here. Alright, so at least we're finally getting livestock. Is it just that we're... Okay, no, we've got the slaughterhouse here. We got the slaughterhouse here. You know what I should have done? Is I should have got the um should have got a meat storage facility built up over here as well. Hmm. I gotta figure out a meat thing. I gotta figure out a meat storage facility. I mean I could build one over here um so that something keeps shipping it from the slaughterhouse to a meat storage facility, and that's where other vehicles pick up the meat to take it back to the shopping centers. So let's see, you come through, you pick up three tons. We're already producing some. You're gonna come through, you're gonna pick up a bunch. This isn't bad. Missing livestock now, though. Only got a ton in there. I mean, it's hard to tell if this is just the residue of earlier... Uh, let's call it, I'll call it incompetence. I'll call it my own incompetence in keeping the meat rolling. But it seems as though... God damn. Yeah, food's just not coming through quickly enough. Stuff isn't coming through quickly enough. That's the key problem right now. We need to do something about that. Um, what are the solutions? The solutions are to have another slaughterhouse. We could have one, like, en route, I suppose, to here. Because the thing is, if we if we try to add another slaughterhouse in this area, we have to deliver livestock to it somehow. Um, or, 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 we build a slaughterhouse over here. What kind of farm connections do you have? Or factory connections? Yeah, one more. One more that's uh, easily accessible, I mean. If we build... Slaughterhouse back here... We can't fit one. We'd have to rework this entire area. Hmm. But yeah, we'd have to rework this entire area. Alternatively, of course, livestock can be shipped from there to somewhere else. And then how do we get the meat in here? Ah. This system should work. It's just a matter of quantities. It's a lot of stuff, right? Like, we don't have... There, let's get some more workers in here for one. Hopefully that'll help. Reducing food, but food is being... Well, what's happening here? Who's picking it up? You're picking it up. It feels like we're getting into a rhythm again. I'm tempted also to, yeah, destroy this section of road, but at the same time, I wonder if it's giving a little bit of relief to this hypotenuse connection, if you will. On your way back to pick some more stuff up. I wonder if... You know, the other option is to load more... Ah, uh, that wouldn't really help. Only have four tons of livestock. It's a combination of things. It's how often the trains come by. 
You're coming through only now. 120. How many of these workers are considered unemployed, right? Once, well, once this connection is done. Once the uh, Rostinsky connection is done, we're going to have those workers moving up to, um, well, it's weird. All the workers from here, well, many of the workers from here will be going up this way. And all the workers from here will be going up this way. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, you're about to head out again. You are picking up on mechanical components, hopefully. I don't think there are any to pick up. There's a couple. No resources, no steel. Fair enough. And what's the deal at Rostinsky? Almost done over here. Almost done-ish over there. You know what? I think it's time to reduce our exports a little bit again. Use your productivity. Reduce our export. It's a little bit. 9% is... Well, 10% is still 15 tons. Sure. Just because I feel like... Uh, well, you know what? No. Let's be real with ourselves. Drop it right down. Slow down our economy just a touch for a little bit. We need to get some of this construction stuff done. Good that these roads are being done, but uh, Rustinsky needs to be up and running ASAP. We need to do something with all these unemployed workers. It's, uh... It's getting better, but it's still ridiculous. But folks, that's a problem. Well, there's a couple problems that we're going to solve next time. This is we're going to call it a session. Uh, the economy is still very much alive and running smoothly, so that's good to see. Um... 2.25. Didn't we start at 2.17? I forget now. But I feel fairly confident that we're okay. Uh, I really need to figure out this, like, meat and food situation. I want to figure that out before Rostinsky or as Rostinsky gets done. Because once food, meat, and Rostinsky are all up and running relatively smoothly, uh, we look to the south to build our second city. I think it's time to, to move to that massive undertaking. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. As always... I want to give a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das vidanya.